Hi, I'm Jerry Ellsworth and I know I have a burned out pixel here. Don't bother me about it unless you want to send me a new camera. Alright, today I'm going to show how you can build your own custom electroluminescent displays with printed circuit boards. So you could etch your own patterns, like you could make seven segment displays and put electroluminescent inks down. These inks here, these are DuPont um, Lux print, but um, this is actually from a sample kit. Um, I'll leave the information of where you can get the ink in the description, so look down over wherever it is at this time uh, for the description. So it's a really simple process. All it is is you're stacking layers. So I've taken this old circuit board, it's an old junk Apple hard drive or uh, disk drive board that had a bunch of um, large copper areas on it. And in one area I've scraped through the copper, uh, I mean through the solder mask to the copper so I could expose just the copper by itself. In another area I didn't. I left the solder mask on there and I'm going to use that as the dielectric and I'm going to show that both of them work. Um, the supplied dielectric from DuPont is better but um, it's still pretty cool that you can just use just regular um, solder mask is a dielectric. Let me zoom in here and show you. All right, I have two alligator clips. One's hooked to the big copper um, pore that's on the circuit board and I've scraped through so I can make contact. That's this guy right here. All right, so that's making a solid connection there. And then here is a stack up of the copper is below. There's the uh, solder mask is the dielectric, and then on the top I have the uh, antimony tin oxide semi-transparent ink. So this is a conductor, but it's still a little bit transparent. And if I apply voltage to this, you can see that it lights up. We can see where the, the copper is below it. And it's not great because I just globbed this stuff on here with um, the end of a wire. So it's thicker in some areas and thinner in others, why it's a little bit darker in some others. But it works. Uh, it takes a little bit more voltage to light this one because it has a thicker dielectric and then different properties than the other. So I'm going to turn this down so I don't get shocked. And I'm going to move over to the area where I did the full stack up of the supplied dielectric um, on top of the bare copper phosphor and then the transparent conductor. Alright, so turn the power on, see if I made a connection there. There it is. So that one's much brighter, very pretty. It's dark in the middle because it's again too thick, but so you could imagine you could make your own shapes on your circuit board, have um, exposed vias that come to the top surface where you just silk on these um, top conductors to make connection. You could do things like make seven segments, you could make your own um, remember those old games from the 80s that had the kind of fixed segments of like the men and the little creatures? They were fixed animation, so you could do that. Uh, I'm, I'm jazzed about this. I hope people run with it. I'm going to try some experiments. Um, I guess the last thing, if, if you like nerdy videos like this, um, be sure to subscribe because I'm always doing nerdy stuff. Leave suggestions. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, I have some more videos coming talking about power supplies to drive these things. I just have to get over to HSC Surplus and get um, some parts. So thanks for watching. See you later.